Electrophoretic light scattering, also known as laser Doppler electrophoresis or phase analysis light scattering, is based on dynamic light scattering. The frequency shift or phase shift of an incident laser beam depends on the dispersed particle's mobility. In the case of dynamic light scattering, Brownian motion causes particle motion. In the case of electrophoretic light scattering, oscillating electric field performs the same function. This method is used for measuring electrophoretic mobility and then calculating zeta potential. Instruments to apply the method are commercially available from several manufacturers. The last set of calculations requires information on viscosity and dielectric permittivity of the dispersion medium. Appropriate electrophoresis theory is also required. Sample dilution is often necessary in order to eliminate multiple scattering of the incident laser beam and or particle interactions. Topic: Instrumentation of electrophoretic light scattering. A laser beam passes through the electrophoresis cell, irradiates the particles dispersed in it, and is scattered by the particles. The scattered light is detected by a photomultiplier after passing through two pinholes. There are two types of optical systems, heterodyne and fringe. Ware and Flieger developed a heterodyne type else instrument, that was the first instrument of this type. In a fringe optics else instrument, a laser beam is divided into two beams. Those cross inside the electrophoresis cell at a fixed angle to produce a fringe pattern. The scattered light from the particles, which migrates inside the fringe, is intensity modulated. The frequency shifts from both types of optics obey the same equations. The observed spectra resemble each other. Oka et al. developed an ELSE instrument of heterodyne type optics that is now available commercially. Its optics is shown in Fig. 3. If the frequencies of the intersecting laser beams are the same then it is not possible to resolve the direction of the motion of the migrating particles. Instead, only the magnitude of the velocity i.e., the speed can be determined. Hence, the sign of the zeta potential cannot be ascertained. This limitation can be overcome by shifting the frequency of one of the beams relative to the other. Such shifting may be referred to as frequency modulation or, more colloquially, just modulation. Modulators used in ELSE may include piezo-actuated mirrors or acousto-optic modulators. This modulation scheme is employed by the heterodyne light scattering method, too. Topic. Heterodyne light scattering The frequency of light scattered by particles undergoing electrophoresis is shifted by the amount of the Doppler effect epsilon d from that of the incident light epsilon the shift can be detected by means of heterodyne optics in which the scattering light is mixed with the reference light. The autocorrelation function of intensity of the mixed light g tau display style g tau can be approximately described by the following damped cosine function 7 g tau equals a plus B exp minus gamma tau cos two pi epsilon o plus c exp minus two gamma tau one Display style g tau equals a plus b exp gamma tau cos two pi epsilon underscore o plus c exp minus two gamma tau q quad one, where gamma display style gamma is a decay constant and a b and c are positive constants dependent on the optical system. 
damping frequency epsilon o display style epsilon underscore o is an observed frequency and is the frequency difference between scattered and reference light epsilon o equals epsilon s minus epsilon r equals epsilon i plus epsilon d minus epsilon i plus epsilon m 2 Display style epsilon underscore O equals epsilon underscore S epsilon underscore R equals epsilon underscore I plus epsilon underscore D epsilon underscore I plus epsilon underscore M Q quad two where epsilon S display style epsilon underscore S is the frequency of scattered light epsilon R display style epsilon underscore R the frequency of the reference light epsilon I display style epsilon underscore I the frequency of incident light laser light and epsilon M display style epsilon underscore M the modulation frequency the power spectrum of mixed light, namely the Fourier transform of G tau, display style G tau, gives a couple of Lorentz functions at plus or minus delta epsilon, display style pm delta epsilon, having a half width of gamma two pi. Display style gamma two pi at the half maximum. In addition to these two, the last term in equation one gives another Lorentz function at epsilon equals zero. Display style epsilon equals zero. The Doppler shift of frequency and the decay constant are dependent on the geometry of the optical system and are expressed respectively by the equations. Upsilon D equals V Q two Pi three Display style Upsilon underscore D equals frac V Q two Pi Q quad three and Gamma equals D Q two four Display style gamma equals d q caret two q quad four, where v display style v is velocity of the particles. Q display style q is the amplitude of the scattering vector, and d display style d is the translational diffusion constant of particles. The amplitude of the scattering vector q display style q is given by the equation q equals 4 pi n lambda 0 sin theta 2 5 Display style q equals frac four pi n lambda underscore zero sin left frac theta two right q quad five. Since velocity v display style v is proportional to the applied electric field e display style e, the apparent electrophoretic mobility mu o B S display style mu underscore O B S is defined by the equation V equals mu O B S 
e 6 display style vc v equals mu underscore obs vc e q quad 6 Finally, the relation between the Doppler shift frequency and mobility is given for the case of the optical configuration of Fig. 3 by the equation Upsilon D equals mu O B S N E Lambda 0 sin theta Seven display style upsilon underscore d equals mu underscore obs frac n e lambda underscore zero sin theta q quad seven where e display style e is the strength of the electric field n display style n the refractive index of the medium lambda zero Display style lambda underscore zero. The wavelength of the incident light in vacuum and theta. Display style theta. The scattering angle. The sine of v d. Display style v underscore d. Is a result of vector calculation and depends on the geometry of the optics. The spectral frequency can be obtained according to EQ. 2. When Upsilon M greater than Upsilon D Display style Upsilon underscore M greater than Upsilon underscore D EQ. 2 is modified and expressed as Upsilon P equals Upsilon O equals plus or minus Upsilon D minus Upsilon M eight Display style Upsilon underscore P equals Upsilon underscore O equals PM Upsilon underscore D Upsilon underscore M Q quad eight The modulation frequency Upsilon M display style Upsilon underscore M can be obtained as the damping frequency without an electric field applied. The particle diameter is obtained by assuming that the particle is spherical. This is called the hydrodynamic diameter D H display style D underscore H D H equals k b t 3 pi eta d 10 display style d underscore h equals frac k underscore b t 3 pi eta d q quad 10 where k b display style k underscore b is Boltzmann coefficient T display style T is the absolute temperature and eta display style eta the dynamic viscosity of the surrounding fluid topic profile of electroosmotic flow Figure 4 shows two examples of heterodyne autocorrelation functions of scattered light from sodium polystyrene sulfate solution NAPSS, MW 400,000, 4 mg per milliliter in 10 mm sodium chloride. The oscillating correlation function shown by Fig. 4A is a result of interference between the scattered light and the modulated reference light. The beat of Fig. 4b includes additionally the contribution from the frequency changes of light scattered by PSS molecules under an electrical field of 40 volts per centimeter. Figure 5 shows heterodyne power spectra obtained by Fourier transform of the autocorrelation functions shown in Fig. 4. 
Figure 6 shows plots of Doppler shift frequencies measured at various cell depth and electric field strengths, where a sample is the NAPSS solution. These parabolic curves are called profiles of electroosmotic flow and indicate that the velocity of the particles changed at different depth. The surface potential of the cell wall produces electroosmotic flow. Since the electrophoresis chamber is a closed system, backward flow is produced at the center of the cell. Then the observed mobility or velocity from EQ. 7 is a result of the combination of osmotic flow and electrophoretic movement. Electrophoretic mobility analysis has been studied by Mori and Okamoto 16, who have taken into account the effect of electroosmotic flow at the side wall. The profile of velocity or mobility at the center of the cell is given approximately by EQ. 11 for the case where k greater than 5. U A Z equals A U zero Z B two plus Delta U zero Z B plus one minus A U zero plus U P eleven Display style U underscore A Z equals O underscore zero Z B carrot two plus delta U underscore zero Z B plus one A U underscore zero plus U underscore P Q quad eleven where Z equals Display style Z equals Cell depth U A Z equals display style u underscore a z equals apparent electrophoretic velocity of particle at position z u p equals display style u underscore p equals true electrophoretic velocity of the particles z b equals Display style Z B equals thickness of the cell U zero equals display style U underscore zero equals average velocity of osmotic flow at upper and lower cell wall delta U zero equals display style delta U underscore zero equals difference between velocities of osmotic flow at upper and lower cell wall a equals 1 2 3 minus 0 0.420166 k 12 display style a equals frac 1 2 thirds 0 0.420166 k q quad 12 K equals A B display style K equals A B A ratio between two side lengths of the rectangular cross section. The parabolic curve of frequency shift caused by electroosmotic flow shown in Fig. 6 fits with EQ. 11 with application of the least squares method. Since the mobility is proportional to a frequency shift of the light scattered by a particle and the migrating velocity of a particle is indicated by EQ. 7, all the velocity, mobility, and frequency shifts are expressed by parabolic equations. Then the true electrophoretic mobility of a particle, the electroosmotic mobility at the upper and lower cell walls, where obtained. The frequency shift caused only by the electrophoresis of particles is equal to the apparent mobility at the stationary layer. The velocity of the electrophoretic migration thus obtained is proportional to the electric field as shown in Fig. 7. The frequency shift increases with increase of the scattering angle as shown in Fig. 8. This result is in agreement with the theoretical EQ. 7.
Topic: Applications. Electrophoretic light scattering else is primarily used for characterizing the surface charges of colloidal particles like macromolecules or synthetic polymers X, polystyrene in liquid media in an electric field. In addition to information about surface charges, ELSE can also measure the particle size of proteins and determine the zeta potential distribution. Biophysics ELSE is useful for characterizing information about the surface of proteins. Ware and Flieger demonstrated that electrophoretic techniques can be combined with laser beat spectroscopy in order to simultaneously determine the electrophoretic mobility and diffusion coefficient of bovine serum albumin. The width of a Doppler shifted spectrum of light that is scattered from a solution of macromolecules is proportional to the diffusion coefficient. The Doppler shift is proportional to the electrophoretic mobility of a macromolecule. From studies that have applied this method to poly L lysine, ELSE is believed to monitor fluctuation mobilities in the presence of solvents with varying salt concentrations. It has also been shown that electrophoretic mobility data can be converted to zeta potential values, which enables the determination of the isoelectric point of proteins and the number of electrokinetic charges on the surface. Other biological macromolecules that can be analyzed with ELSE include polysaccharides. PKA values of chitosans can be calculated from the dependency of electrophoretic mobility values on pH and charge density. Like proteins, the size and zeta potential of chitosans can be determined through ELSE. ELSE has also been applied to nucleic acids and viruses. The technique can be extended to measure electrophoretic mobilities of large bacteria molecules at low ionic strengths. Nanoparticles ELSE has been used to characterize the polydispersity, nanodispersity, and stability of single-walled carbon nanotubes in an aqueous environment with surfactants. The technique can be used in combination with dynamic light scattering to measure these properties of nanotubes in many different solvents. <laughs> 